Flamingo he, flamingo ha, flamingo ha, flamingo ha. Good morning, guys. So today we are just actually headed to the mall. Um, I've got to pick up some socks. I know, cool, right? And then we've also got to top up our SIM cards. We have been without data for like, I don't know, two, three weeks now, and it's getting to us. So we're gonna top those up, and then probably check out a distillery. Um, it's called the Chalong Bay Distillery. They basically, they make rum. So we figured that'll be cool. We're gonna go. We are off. Welcome to Bird's Bird Emporium. We've got every kind of bird that you could ever want. We got chickens, we got regular birds, we got we little mice. Little mice. Are we there yet? It's a long walk. It's like 40 minutes. So no. No. This is a good place for it in the middle of the road. Are we there yet? Uh, yeah. It's nice that all the taxi drivers are so concerned about our well-being. They're always asking us if we need a ride. Are we there yet? We're so close. Are we there yet? We are. We just have to cross this massive intersection. There are lanes of traffic going every direction. No pedestrian signals. It's a multi-stage operation. We've almost made it. But I want to be there now. It's very hot out today. Gotta to air out a bit. Alright. We have made it to the Central Festival Mall. Makes it sound so fun. Does it? I'm so excited to get into the air conditioning. It is yeah. seriously sweltering out here. <laughs> We're literally trapped. <laughs> There's a gate and we can't get out. Oh, this nice lady is gonna let us out. <laughs> we'll just go around. To I'm wearing a dress. So what? Okay, I think we found the main entrance. Oh, that's a pylon. Yeah, we did. Yay! Look at that. All right, time to go through security. It's air conditioned in here. I'm so happy. All right, so we're in a computer store, an electronic store. They have a Shih Tzu. Clean, well-behaved, and faithful. I don't know, little robots, I guess. All right, we just topped up our data on our phones. Everywhere we go, they have like different plans at True. I don't know how they decide these, but yeah, it's really weird. It's but very strange. We've got four gigabytes on on one yeah. on one SIM card, so I'm just gonna Wi-Fi hotspot. Yeah, so that's 30 days after we get, like use up the four gigs, it just moves to a lower speed internet. Um, and we just bought like a little bit of credit for calls just in case we have like another medical emergency and I need to call someone. Um, we figured that's probably for the best. So yeah, glad to finally have data again. Oh dear, what is he about? We're just at H&M in search of socks. Everything is so nice here. Like oh seriously, H&M Thailand, you are on point. On point. Do they have these slippers in Canada? They got Sharks, Yoda. I, I don't know about what those are. I think this uh, suits me. So apparently Thailand has taken a stance on ankle socks that I cannot support. They don't sell them anywhere and if they do they're like seven dollars a pair which I would not even pay at home. Bad. We've headed down to the first floor of the mall and they have a little food market. I don't know what anything is. Oh, look at this little guy. That's handy. Just walked outside. Look at how lovely this is. Okay, so I think we are done at the mall. We did not find socks. But, but we did get our data topped up, yes. so that's good. So I think our plan now is we're going to go to the rum distillery. Uh, it's the Chalong Bay rum distillery. So it's in Chalong Bay, so it's like an hour and a half to walk there from here. Yeah, so we're gonna catch that. Like, there's no way I'm doing that in this heat. So it looks like fares are set to the different districts here. So to Chalong Bay from here, it should be 300 baht. On our way. We 
made it to the Chalong Bay Distillery. So now we're just gonna do a quick tour. So unfortunately they didn't allow us to photograph the event or like record it in any way shape or form. Um, they're like a, an award-winning distillery apparently. Yeah, um, and like the largest um, awards in the world. They won like the gold in San Francisco apparently. So. Yeah, last year. So they're super proud of it and they don't really want to advertise what their secrets are. Like, But the rum is really good. It's a very interesting tour. Um, they tell you all about the distillation process and like how they specifically do it with like what like what kind of equipment they use and they actually explain to you that like the, the chemical process which is very interesting um, they give us like a, they give you a mojito at the start and it's like it's amazing it's a really good rum like like Chalong Bay rum and like Dylan's for example they use sugarcane um, and then the rest is like it, it, it's a, it's the cheaper way they basically use like the byproduct of sugar cane juice which is like molasses and stuff like that because it's super cheap to produce um, and super quick to produce only 5% of rum producers make it with sugar cane it's the smoothest rum that I've ever had for sure and they also have a little cafe and a bar here with like really good food it looks like and really like an extensive array of cocktails um, which I think we're gonna try out I'm getting the passion fruit mojito I'm getting the ginger lychee here. So look at how cute this little bar cafe is. We're being rained in right now, we can't leave, so we're here for the foreseeable future. But yeah, it's super cute. Really nice branding that they have here. Like, it's so classy. Yeah, it's very classy. Cup and cup. Looks delicious. Cheers. Cheers. Decadence at its finest. All right, this is the last bite. It was so good. So we got roasted red pepper, um, feta, tomato, and basil, and then a tzatziki dip along with our bread basket and our cocktails. And it was delicious. So these are their different rums. They've got the lemongrass. Got Thai sweet basil, which I'm very curious to try. And they've got their cinnamon. All right, everything was delish, and the drinks were good, and I'm happy. Uh, well worth it. It was quite expensive. Definitely not for like the budget, budget <laughs> yeah. backpacker. Yeah, definitely not for the budget backpacker. But I mean, if you're looking for something to do for a day, like really, it's 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 can, not too bad. No, it, I mean it's classy. Like you can kill a bunch of time there just chilling at the bar. Do you know where how to get back? Um, no. A sweltering hour and a half later, we've made it back. We walked. My calves are burning. Yep. Super sweaty, it's but not even hot. It's just like yeah, so it's just humid. humid. It's crazy humid. So um, we're just gonna head up to our room for like five, ten minutes, cool down, and then we're gonna head out and get some food. Okay, guys. After much frustration, nothing is open. There's no restaurants. I think we're just going to go to this one, which is right at our apartment. Okay. So that was interesting. Yeah, um, mediocre meal, but cheap, like 180 baht, so like six bucks. Yeah. Um, the owner had a little girl, like, I don't know, maybe five, six years old. She was just playing with her snot, like, just rubbing it all over her face and eating yeah. it. And then she found a cigarette somewhere, and then a lighter, and just tried to smoke it. And the mom came out she, and She was at her. not phased at all. Like, she was not phased whatsoever. Just, anyway, so that was, that was bizarre. It was, it was very really bizarre. Strange, yeah. Surreal experience. Yeah. So we're anyway, going, we're going, we're going home. Okay, so we were just editing and we heard this like scampering. <laughs> kind of thudding noise like in the ceiling. Yeah, it's really, really sketchy. It sounded like it's coming from up here. <laughs> Trying to scare it away if it's like a rat in the ceiling or something. <laughs> okay. It seems 
seems to have disappeared, so that's good. <laughs> that was like a loud noise. That was alarming. <laughs> Not five minutes after we just had our little rat, rat incident, <laughs> yeah. uh, the fire alarm is going off. So hopefully there's not a real fire because that would be terrifying. Be bad. Because um, I'm leaving the camera gear here. <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's loud. Yeah, definitely a false alarm. Uh, it stopped as soon as we left the building. So, I think they're connected. I don't know. We're going. Oh, there it is again. No. Nope. Okay. Some something's going on. You know. We're sitting at Sage Black and there's nobody around giving directions or anything, so whatever. Hey guys. It's like midnight. Yeah, we haven't really done a single thing except no. for edit a video. Yeah, we um, a video. So we got that up and then Bird almost did something with her hair, almost succeeded. It's really hard to do hairstyles. Yeah, she's not very guys. good at being a girl, but I... she's but she's trying. Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, yeah. we've got to get up reasonably early tomorrow um, where you're checking out because we're going to Batong. So it's only 20 minutes from here, so it's not really a big deal. It's just that we have to pack. So we're going to go to bed and we'll see you tomorrow. Please give us a thumbs up if you like our stuff and feel free to subscribe. I mean, if you'd like to. I mean, it would be nice. Please. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Good night. What's going on? Oh, we're late. We're leaving. You have the room key? Yep. Okay. So we've made it out of our hostel. It was a bit of a scramble this morning. They've got a really early checkout, but don't let that sway you from staying there. Katie Guest House is honestly awesome. We're not sponsored by them or anything like that. They're just legitimately really, really nice people. So helpful. Super helpful. They helped us get tickets. They... They're are, just, really they're, just sweet they're just sweet, genuine people. So, definitely recommend going to the Kitty Guest House. We are going to kick around town for a couple of hours because the next ferry doesn't leave until 2.30. Mm -hmm. And we're going to Phuket. 